We're here at the Westin Hotel in Dallas with the Lynn Proctor, who is the national sales. So essentially, yes, but I'm the winemaking ambassador for the eponymous Pinfolds Winery of Australia, of South Australia, for North and South America. And Penfolds is probably the most famous Australian winery for high quality wines. I would humbly say so. Yeah. Thankfully, Tell fortunately. Obviously, in your job, you've tasted a lot of their flagship wine, uh -huh. the Grange. And perhaps you could you could tell us what you think of it and the most recent vintage. How how was it? Well, just a quick snippet into the life of Grange. Grange is a beautiful and glorious wine that we have been producing continuously and consecutively ever since our first experimental vintage of 1951, with 52 being for commercial release. Now, the very highly touted 2008 vintage of Grange, which is our current vintage, is, is a glorious wine, and, and we're fortunate to uh, have Peter Gagor as our chief winemaker since 02, who has crafted that wine since 02. This is a wine that's actually the 11th wine in the world, the first non-French wine and non-French winery to receive dual 100-point scores from the Wine Advocate and Wine Spectator. So it's a pretty, a pretty, you know, fantastic honor that has been bestowed upon Grange for the 2008 vintage. So very fortunate uh, that uh, that wine is showing very, very well at the moment. How many times have you drunk it? I've had away Grange uh, probably more than I can count. <laughs> probably more than Pellegrino. <laughs> it's, your, it, it's your regular night, nightly a wine. Absolutely, absolutely. Think, things could be worse. Tell us about some other things that are interesting to you that are in the Penfolds range, Dylan. So, so absolutely. You know, we've got fantastic wines like our, our Penfolds Saint Henri, which is actually a wine that we re-envisioned with the 1953 vintage experimentally. But it's a wine that's been in production since the 1890s, so we think. We found this label and this bottle when we purchased our next door neighbor, Old Donna Sellers. So, Saint Henri is a label that could possibly have been made pre-1890. But it's a wine that's really the, the, the antithesis of Grange, if you will. It's a wine that never sees any new oak. It's all French. And as a matter of fact, it's actually the same French oak barrels that we've used since 1953. 55 plus year old French oak barrels. So, they're, they're you know, they're, <laughs> they're clean at this point. That's a vastly yeah. different wine. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that, they're very neutral at this point. So, so that also seems to break all the rules that you think of, of, it does. of all the style rules of it modern does. winemaking. It does. And and besides our Saint Henri, we also produce a wine called RWT. It's another one of our luxurious wines. So RWT, meaning Red Winemaking Trial, is actually a wine that we've produced since 1997. This is a wine we produced just so we could kind of answer the critic critics and if you will hush the critics about Penfolds not producing single region wines based on French oak. It's Barossa Valley, Sources, Ebenezer, Mapa, Nuriutba, Tanunda, glorious sub GIs within the Barossa Valley. That's 100% Shiraz, 100% Barossa Valley and 100% French oak, about 80% new. Right, so that, 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 that sounds like a very contemporary wine. Mm -hmm. And uh, what about if somebody wanted to go out t uh, tomorrow and buy something inexpensive for the weekend? What does Penfolds have? Absolutely. Now, we have two wines that you may or may, may not have heard of. Bintu. Bintu is about a globally uh, set retail price of $26, very affordable. It's actually a Shiraz Motaro that we've been producing since wow. 1960. And not only Ben 2, we have another wine called Ben 8. So when you think about Grange, Ben 389, and then Ben 8. Ben 8 is the entry level wine that takes you to 389 and then to Grange. Ben 8, just like 389, is a Cabernet Shiraz blend sourced from South Australia, from our own vineyards, as well as rural relationships vineyards that we have had relationships generation after generation after generation. This Ben 8 wine is a wine that you can find by the glass in a lot of your famous restaurants around the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Comes in at about $14, $15 by the glass on the restaurant wine list. So it's definitely a Penfolds wine that's in the style of 389 and, of course, Grange right. that you can find around the Metroplex. And what about white wines? White wine, absolutely. We produce two fantastic white wines, well, more than two. But you've got our Ben 51 Dry Riesling from the Eden Valley. 
This is a wine that we've actually been experimenting with Riesling since the 1960s. You go through the 70s, 80s, and 90s, and you find yourself in the current, current release of the 2012 vintage of Ben 51 Eaton Valley Riesling. It's a wine that you can find around the $40 retail price point, but that give or takes in some markets, so you may find it for $32 or $34.99. Also, we make a glorious Ben 311 Chardonnay from a small little region at the foothills of the Snowy Mountains in New South Wales from a region called Tumbarumba. It's our Ben 311 Chardonnay. Now, dare I say old world, new world, dare I say old world style, but it really is. You're at the foothills of the Snowy Mountains, which is still very high in elevation. Extremely cool climate, French oak, partial mallow, bright, beautiful, vibrant acid. You've got some of those stone and pomaceous fruit uh, flavors, so it's, it's a fantastic Chardonnay that reminds you of a great Bourgogne or Bourgogne Ludite. Okay, so it's got a lot of Burgundy in it, even though it's from the other side of the world. Even though it's from down under and the other side of the world. Absolutely, Andrew. Dylan Proctor, thanks very much. Hey, thanks for having me.